Hey, I know you've heard of cybersecurity, but did you know that there's different career paths that you can take within the cybersecurity umbrella? These career paths can all be really different from each other. So today we're gonna get into a few of them and see what's right for you. Guys, what's going on? Welcome to Alt Function. I am your host, Jen Funk, and today I'm gonna to be covering five different career paths in cybersecurity. I'm going to be covering a few things such as the role itself, the pay of the role, some pros and cons, and what you might need to get started. Let's go. First up, we're gonna talk about the SOC Analyst. SOC stands for Security Operations Center. There are a couple different tiers to SOC Analyst, one, two, and three, one being the most junior and three being the most senior. Tasks of a SOC Analyst typically include monitoring a company's network and systems infrastructure to look for malicious activity. They'll monitor alerts and be able to pull out whether it is a false positive or a true positive and evaluate and triage from there. Pros and cons of being a SOC Analyst. If you're just trying to break into the cybersecurity field, a tier one SOC Analyst might be a great starting place for you. If you enjoy problem solving and critical thinking, becoming a SOC Analyst might be right up your alley as the attack vectors are always changing in cybersecurity. Cons may include, a SOC does run 24 by seven. So especially as a tier one analyst, you might be subject to shift work. Another con is alert fatigue. Sometimes if you're sitting there and you're looking at alerts all day, it can fatigue your mind and you might not think as clearly. So it's important to take breaks and manage your time well. Some certificates to consider if you are thinking about becoming a SOC analyst are the Security Plus, 701, Network Plus, and A Plus. Some experience that employers might look for when they're looking to hire a SOC analyst is experience with a SIEM, EDR products, or a SOAR. You might be thinking to yourself, okay, well, I'm just trying to get into the field and I don't have any experience yet. How can I gain some experience? If you are looking to become a SOC analyst, but you'd like to get some hands-on experience, I highly recommend the learning platform Let's Defend. I'll be putting links to all of the education suggestions in the description below. The media pay for a SOC analyst is approximately 80,000 USD annually. All right, let's go to career path number two, incident response. An incident responder is somebody that takes an alert from a SOC analyst and further evaluates it. Once the SOC analyst has determined that there really is a problem, the incident responder will handle it accordingly. NIST, which stands for National Institute of Standards and Technology, is a standard cybersecurity framework, and they put out a incident response life cycle. This life cycle goes as follows, preparation, detection, containment, eradication, and recovery. Pros and cons of being an incident responder. First off, let's go over some of the pros. Much like a SOC analyst, you get to use creative problem solving. As an incident responder, you will rarely see the same thing twice, so it keeps you on your toes and your work fun. Some of the cons of being an incident responder is it can be a high stress environment. Not to mention you may be getting calls off hours to have to respond to incidents as they happen. Qualifications that employers often look for when they're looking to hire an incident responder is a bachelor's degree in cybersecurity, computer science, or related field, certificates, such as the SANS GCIH or GCIA, and or three plus years working in a SOC environment. The median pay for an incident responder is 132,000 USD annually. All right, now we're gonna move on to career track number three, the Cyber Threat Intelligence Analyst. CTI is a proactive approach to cybersecurity. CTI analysts will ingest information from different intel sources and then format that information to provide to stakeholders so that they can formulate a plan to lessen the attack surface of the company. Versus a CTI analyst might evaluate is OSINT, dark web, malware, internal, and community sources. Qualifications to become a CTI analyst are often a bachelor's degree in cybersecurity, criminal justice, or related field. If you're looking at industry-renowned certs, then the SANS GCTI is the one I would recommend. Working knowledge base that employers might look for is frameworks and models that are common to be used in CTI, like the MITRE ATT&CK framework, diamond model, heat mapping, and threat actor profiling. Pros and cons of being a CTI analyst, let's start with some of the pros. I'm gonna have to say it is super fun. I'm a little biased because CTI is where I started my cybersecurity career. Another pro of working on CTI is if you're somebody that is very social, it can be a very collaborative role. A downside to CTI is that there's not a lot of formal education out there, and the only renowned certificate that I can think of off the top of my head is the SANS GCTI. Average pay for a cyber threat intelligence analyst is 109,000 USD annually. That brings us to career track number four, vulnerability management. The role of somebody that works in vulnerability management is to identify, evaluate, and remediate vulnerabilities that exist in a company's environment. This can pair well with CTI and information sharing. Let's get into some of the pros and cons. Pros. You get to identify the vulnerabilities before the bad guys do. Vulnerability management can be more consistent working hours than reactive roles like SOC analyst or incident responder. Some of the cons are it can be tedious work and if you're somebody that likes to work in a reactive work environment, vulnerability management might seem a little too slow paced for you. There are quite a few certifications and education options for vulnerability management. The SANS GCVA, 
ISACA CISA, and the InfoSec Certified Vulnerability Management Engineer. The average salary of somebody that works in vulnerability management is 124,000 USD annually. All right, everyone, that brings us to number five, and no cybersecurity career path list is going to be complete without talking about the hacker, or more formally known as the penetration tester or offensive personnel. This is the more media-focused cybersecurity career path. So you've seen it all, the guy sitting in the dark basement, tapping away on the computer and the hoodie and the sunglasses. That's typically what people think of when they think of hacker. But for day-to-day, -day, let's talk about what a penetration tester actually does. So a penetration test team will use simulated attacks against a target environment to find openings and vulnerabilities before the bad guys do, also known as black hat hackers. A couple of certifications to consider if you are looking to become a pen tester are Pen Plus, G Pen, and the well-respected OSCP. Some of the pros and cons of working as a penetration tester, let's go with some with pros. Pros are your schedule might be a little bit more flexible as the work is typically contracted. Another pro is if you are somebody that likes a fast-paced work environment and solving puzzles, penetration testing might be a great career path for you. Some cons include the learning curve can be quite steep. And secondly, because it is contract work, the schedule might not be a nine to five unless you work for a company that does constant penetration testing. Quite ready for a certification, but you'd like to get some hands-on learning pen testing, then I highly recommend Hack the Box or Try Hack Me as two learning platforms that you can find online. Median pay for somebody working in penetration testing is 132,000 USD annually. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me for our very first episode of Alt Function that wraps up five different career trajectories in cybersecurity. If you have any suggestions, put them in the comments below and check out the description for any recommendations that I've made today.